friends, I'm Kelsey, and I'm a volunteer at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, and I have a special project for you today, so let's get into it. We're in a moment in time right now where I know I'm wondering what the future will look like, but I'm also trying to figure out what I want the future to look like, and I think we can shape that more than we think we can. So we here at the Children's Creativity Museum decided to come up with a fun challenge and it's called the Community Rainbow Project. And I'm hoping you'll join me in making and displaying a rainbow in your window to share some light during these times, but also as a way to guide us into the future. Today I'll be sharing just one way to make a rainbow just to get you started, but I highly encourage you to invent your own rainbow themed activity. The goal is to share a rainbow in your window and there's a million different ways to do that. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make some rainbow pom-poms for your window. I have a ton of yarn, so I have a solid choice of colors, but you definitely don't need to recreate an entire rainbow color spectrum. If you have just a few different colors, that will work great. For materials, you'll need some different colors of yarn, a fork, and some scissors. Before you start wrapping, arrange your yarn colors how you want them to appear on your pom-pom. I'm going to start by cutting a length of yarn and feeding it through the middle prong of the fork so it hangs down. We'll be using this to tie up the center of the palm when we're done wrapping and keep it all together. I'm starting with wrapping my blue yarn around the bottom of the fork, making sure it doesn't slip down the handle. I'm going to wrap it around until it's fairly thick and goes about halfway up the fork. Next, I'll wrap the green. I want to match the thickness that I created with the blue and go up the rest of the way. Then I'll take the yarn that's hanging down and tie that yarn really, 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 really tight. Now I'll gently slide my palm off the fork and use the scissors to cut through the loops on both sides. And now it kind of looks like a fluffy fluff ball, but not quite like a pom-pom yet. So I'll use the scissors to help shape my palm and fluff it up with my fingers. And there you have it, your first palm. Now I'll show you how to use your fingers to create a palm. It's the same concept as the fork. So you're going to feed a length of yarn through your index and middle finger. And now you can start wrapping. Make sure to not wrap too tight. You want to be able to slide the yarn off your fingers easily. Now I'll slide the yarn off my fingers and cut through the loops on both sides and shape with my scissors like I did with my first palm. and my palm is done. So that's just one way to create a rainbow just to get you started, but I encourage you to come up with your own rainbow creations. You could create a rainbow mobile to hang in your window. You could create a rainbow maker using mirrors and water and light to reflect a rainbow onto your wall. You could create a rainbow window cling. I couldn't think of a better symbol right now to represent the future. It might seem dreary at the moment, and that's okay. After every storm is a rainbow, and we can definitely create our own rainbows. So have fun and happy making.